I have been invited by Information Labs to speak on the multifaceted impact of the Brussels effect in African countries. I will start off by noting that Europe's influence in Africa dates back to more than a century and is shaped by a complex history of colonization, economic exploits, cultural and political influence. Today, Europe's influence in Africa is characterized by the history and mutual interest in economic, political, cultural, technological, educational, and geographical ties. The Brussels effect in African countries is therefore not new. Amplified by the extraterritorial nature of technologies, Europe's influence over the last few decades, particularly in the area of laws and policies, have been significant, especially in the area of data protection, digital services, cybersecurity, and artificial intelligence. The nature of this influence has been varied for various reasons. While it can be said that the Brussels effect has inspired the development of uh, technology-related laws, policies, and strategies across Africa, on the other end, it has exposed the dangers of not contextualizing these laws to the specific needs and resources of African countries. If you look, for instance, at the GDPR, many African countries that have modeled their data protection laws after the GDPR are currently facing challenges with regard to the capacity and resources required to implement such law. Also, the lack of contextualization of a number of these laws pose significant challenges to the African countries as a result of the cultural context within which these laws are expected to be implemented. Addressing these issues therefore requires a multifaceted approach that includes strengthening institutions, increasing legal education and public awareness, eliminating corruption, and ensuring that the laws that are passed are relevant and fair to the African context. While international cooperation and support is crucial in developing Africa's technology law, legal and regulatory environment, Local ownership and context-specific solutions are necessary for its sustainability. It is therefore important for Europe to pay attention to the far-reaching consequences of its decisions beyond the European shores.